Okay, so today, my cat, we are going to make a honey peanut butter butter sandwich. So, to make a sandwich, of course you need bread. So I'm going to get my lovely bread. Oh, I'm so short. The struggle of getting bread. Alright, so I got the bread. Let's put it over here. Alright, so we got the bread. Um, I don't know what bread that is. It's ow, oh, the cat is killing me. Let me dispose of this thing. Look at it. Wow. And we're going to get rid of the cat. Don't come back. Now he's learned his lesson. So now, now that we got the bread, to make a bread sandwich, you first need a plate. So allow me to get a plate. Alright, so I'm going to put the plate over here, save some room. So to make a honey butter, peanut butter, to make a honey peanut butter butter sandwich, you need, of course you need peanut butter. So we're going to get, is this crunchy? I don't like crunchy. Do we have creamy? Why don't we have three peanut butter things? One of these ought to be not crunchy. Oh, creamy. Woo. I don't know. There's one thing you know about me. It's that I don't like crunchy peanut butter. Because I just don't like nuts in my peanut butter. You know? So we got that. Low sodium. I don't even know. Wait. Why would peanut butter have salt in it? Oh, because salt's... Peanut have salt. So if you make the peanut... How does that work? Oh, it's because it's creamy. Okay, so now you know how low-sodium peanut butter works. So in order to make a honey butter peanut butter sandwich, you need butter. So I don't have butter, but I have... What is it? Like margin? Oh, beer. Ooh. Now you guys know how I get my daily diet. Ooh, gluten-free. What? So if you guys are... That's one way to open it. This is a cool way to open it. So if you guys are um, allergic to gluten or transgender, then you can eat this because it's OG, original gangster, trans fat. Wait, this is... Okay, 60% less Saturday fat than butter. Okay, gonna make that small than butter. So this is not butter. But it is healthy butter. Alright, so I got my healthy butter. And uh, now I need my honey, the best part. So I'm pretty sure I didn't check before. But I think it's in here. If it's not, we might have to... It might be a fail. I have to just... Uh, here it is. I don't know. I feel like everyone that's watching this has seen the Bee movie. And I'm done with talking about... Wait. Yeah, this is honey. I can read. Don't worry. It hasn't been that long since school. Also, happy not school day to everyone. So I got the honey, got the plate. Now what do I need? A knife. We should probably wait to get the knife. So first, get the bread. So, to get the bread, you have to get three workspace. So we're gonna get the bread open. So you gotta get this thing off. So you got this thing off, you put it there, you open the bread, and then, I don't want the butt. I like to eat the butt. <laughs> that sound wrong. So you put it like that. <coughs> so you put the bread down and you eat the butt. Mm -hmm. You eat the butt and you, um, Twist this thing back, and then you put the blue or whatever color it is. You have to put that thing back, so you tie it on. Also, kudos to Alex. This is her recipe. 
the best thing ever. You guys need to try it. I don't make quality cooking for nothing. Then you... Then you look at the brown. Okay. Then you put the brown up. Please stand by. Oh, this is going to be great. Ugh. All without a stool. So... Hello, cat. That's the one I kicked out, but it's fine. If you hear his little jingly collar, it's it's just... What's he eating? He's eating my kindergarten hair. What did you like this project? Where we made a little person that looked like us? On, like, construction paper? And that was my hair. And he's eating it. My cat is eating it. He does this all the time. Where's your brother? Probably with my sister. I don't know. Um, is it just me or is this spread uneven? Hold up. This isn't going to work. You see those edges? Let me go get some bread again. Please stand by. I can't believe it. I got uneven bread. So, if the bread is uneven like mine, you will take it off. You just take it off and put it back in. So, while I do that, yeah, I'll just... <coughs> so, I got the bread. Look at it. Look how snazzy that looks. Snazzy is just my favorite word. So, you're going to turn it like this. And you're going to have it like that. And you're going to start doing the work. So, I'm going to get a knife. Please stand by. Knife. Bread. Now, what do we do first? First, peanut butter. Cool. Ah, oh, I just broke it again. Ah, it smells good. Now, if you're allergic to peanut butter, I guess you're just going to have to figure something out. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I think, you know, like, for vegetarians, they make, like, fake meat, like, veggie burgers and stuff. So, they ought to do that for, like, people who are, like, allergic to stuff. Like, fake peanut butter. Like, so it's not made out of peanuts, but it smells... And it looks and it tastes like peanut butter. It doesn't have to look like peanut butter. I think that'd be useful. If anyone's done that, I want to know. And if anyone does that, I want half. I want the credit for it. I want that patent. So you gotta, you gotta spread it out like so. But I'm not doing it right, so don't do it like this. This is what not to do. You gotta spread it out all the way. Because, like, you don't want to have one bite that has a lot of peanut butter and the one that doesn't have enough. I learned this all from, like, Chef Valerie on, like, Kids Baking Championship, which, by the way, is a great show. You can totally check it out. Yeah, sorry. That was just a moment of silence. Alright, so, once you get the peanut butter on there, mm, which I have not done yet, because this peanut butter is really hard to work with. But it's not as bad as crunchy peanut butter. Like, crunchy peanut butter doesn't go anywhere. So, wow. Oh, no. If you get it on your hand, it's fine. 